Clint Eastwood is one tough bastard. But if you've seen his movies like the Dollars Trilogy or Dirty Harry, you already know that. But Clint is at his toughest when he's in the line of fire. In the Line of Fire involves Clint Eastwood as a veteran Secret Service agent, traumatized and haunted by his failure to save John F. Kennedy from an assassin's bullet on the 22nd of November of 1963 in Dallas, Texas. But when he learns that a potential assassin is planning to kill the sitting president, he must do what he can to prevent it from happening, even if it causes him humiliation. What do you see when you're in the dark? And the demons come. I see you standing over the grave of another dead president. That's not gonna happen. In the Line of Fire was the first motion picture produced with the active cooperation and participation of the United States Secret Service. The film is directed by German director Wolfgang Peterson, best remembered for films Das Boot and The Neverending Story. Peterson was personally selected by Clint Eastwood after he initially turned it down. But what really eclipses Eastwood's performance, or should I say, the one who stole the show, was John Malkovich as the potential assassin, Mitch Leary. Malkovich's performance gave him an Academy Award nomination. Like Nicholson in The Shining or Cagney in The Public Enemy, he's like a ticking time bomb. What you couldn't possibly know is they sent my best friend, my comrade in arms, to my home to kill me. Your voice is shaking. I never lied to you, Frank, and I never will. Not only is this guy unscrupulous, he is also a master of disguise. Perfect adversary for Eastwood. I have a rendezvous with death. Oh, and so does the president. And so do you, Frank, if you get too close to me. You have a rendezvous with my ass, motherfucker! The film was both a critical and commercial success when it opened in 1993. You should really look at this movie. It's a smart thriller.